And welcome to tonight's meeting of the uh, Port Wayne Community School uh, Board of Trustees. Um, we have a packed house tonight, so this ought to be a rousing Pledge of Allegiance. If you would please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And roll call of members, present. Good evening, I'm Glenna Yale from the second district. Maria Norman, member at large. And Duff, member at large. Um, and I'm Julie Hollingsworth, elected from district one. And to my far left is Janet Doherty, the clerk of the board. Good evening. And the superintendent's chair is um, empty tonight because um, Dr. Robinson is uh, still recovering from some eye surgery that she had Wednesday. Um, so she can't, she's unrestricted uh, driving, but she's probably watching at home. So <laughs> we'll say hello, Dr. Robinson, on three. Hello. One, two, three. Hello, hello Dr. Dr. Robinson. <laughs> Okay, well, this is um, one of our uh, special meetings that we have in May just for the purpose of um, awards. And uh, so just a reminder, uh, first of all, congrats to all of the uh, parents and aunts and uncles and grandparents and teachers here. I know this is a proud moment for you, so congratulations. Um, you will have plenty of time to take pictures, so uh, get up uh, in the aisle or come down in front and take pictures. They won't bother us. And then when you leave, um, we have two uh, exit doors to your right, the double doors right there, and then the single door right there that leads into the hallway and then back out into the lobby. So you will not uh, offend us at all if you leave once those awards have been given. Okay. So first, we begin with the Indiana State PTA Reflections Award. And this is just the elementary level. Um, so the board is recognizing students who are recipient of awards in the Indiana State PTA Reflections Program. A, member of Fort Wayne, a number of Fort Wayne Community School students were recognized by the Indiana PTA for their entries in the Citizenship and Reflections Program. The Reflections Program is open to students in kindergarten through grade 12. A student who received a state award of outstanding interpretation advanced to the national level. This year's theme was Heroes Around Me. Students expressed themselves through literature, visual art, photography, dance choreography, film and video production, musical composition, and essay. So please come forward as your name is read so that we may congratulate you. And um, so we have Assistant Superintendent Get Nichols. You are, are you doing the honors of handing out the we're just giving to them a whole packet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And then they can fight it out after that. Okay. Uh, first, from Croninger Elementary School, we have Olivia Adams in literature. Come on down. So, Olivia must be in now uh, what? Fifth grade? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, Victoria, Victoria Allen, Visual Arts. Yeah. Amaya Bowen, Photography. Yeah. Mackenzie Bowen, Visual Arts. Yeah. Elijah Cuellar, Photography. Liliana Flight, Dance Choreography. Morgan Fuller, Literature. Are those rabbit ears? <laughs> Cat ears? Rabbit? Okay, nice. I like that. Did you make those? 
<laughs> um, Brooklyn Hutzel, Visual Art. Carter Kelly, Music Composition. Faith Lorraine, Photography. Juliana Loudon, 3D Visual Arts. Tyler McIntosh, Photography. Joelga Portella, Dance Choreography. Sawyer Potter, Music Composition. Owen Potter, Music Composition. Sophie Prowse, Film and Video Production. Ella Rector, Literature. Logan Sanders, Literature. Madeline Stetka, Film and Video Production. And teachers, if you're here, come on down. We have Sherry Bradshaw, Angie Frazier, Fran Hewitt, Tracy McKinnon, Sarah Pearson, Heather Stetfen, Andy Wilkerson, and Kroninger Principal Carrie Kennedy. On down. So close in, get close to your classmates. And anyone, just take a picture. You have plenty of time. They all in? Don't be shy. Yes. Make sure you get a good picture. Yeah, get in front. to your lab. And again, parents, if you're leaving, also get right up and go. I don't want anyone getting lost out there. Have a good night. Two seats. They've got some empty seats down in front. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming out. Good night. Occasion. Okay. Next we have um, from Haley Elementary School, Sophia Moore, music composition. Anthony Wally, music composition. And Wendy Bloom, teacher, and Brandon White, principal. Congratulations. 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 Okay, next we have um, Harris Elementary School. 
Um, Nathan Armstrong, film and video production. Jackson Brielmeyer, photography. Leanna Briggs, literature. Eliana Brower, music composition. Jacqueline Kappa, visual arts. Alea Dennis, Photography, <laughs> Zoe Ealing, Visual Arts, <laughs> Casimir Snyder, <coughs> Photography, <laughs> Grace Whitehead, Photography, <laughs> Benjamin Wilson, Visual Arts, Christopher Wilson, Visual Arts. <laughs> Teachers, if you're here, Elizabeth uh, Bauman, Linda Benjamin, Christine Dwyer, Kimberly Ford, Eric Habercorn, Jennifer Huffer, Linda Millette, Sarah Quigley, and Harris Principal, Jana Ankerbrook. <laughs> Scoot in. Get close to your brother. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next we have Studi Elementary School. Uh, Jordan Ruford, Visual Arts. Oops, my fault, my fault. Thank you. Irwin Elementary School. Harrison Hill. Harrison Hill. I'm not in a hurry to get anywhere, honestly. Okay, Harrison Hill Elementary School. Minnie Carter Weaver, Literature. Vincent Flynn, Visual Arts. Gabriella Martinez, Visual Arts. Zora Mitchell, Literature. Malia Muff, Visual Arts. Adeline Posey, Visual Arts. Karina Rivas, Literature. Kaylin Simpson, Literature. And Nicole Moore, Teacher, and Shannon Rogers, Harrison Hill Principal. Marking these up. Three chairs down in front. 
sitting up front. Everybody wants to sit down on front. Come on down. <laughs> okay, next we have Irwin Elementary School. We have Weston Detmer, film, video, production, and photography. Jade Henry, visual arts. Xavier Holbrook, film, video, production. Natifa Yusuf, dance choreography. And Zainab Yusuf, visual arts. And Irwin principal, Mary Canary. Scoot in a little bit. Scoot in. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, now we have Studi Elementary School. Um, Jordan Bruford, Visual Arts. Madison Garza, Visual Arts. Leroy Johnson, Visual Arts. Tegan Palak, Visual Arts. And Viper Ray Simcox, Visual Arts. Teachers, Michael Allen, Angela Clevenger, Cynthia Shelby, and Studi Principal, Elizabeth Cleaver. Okay, now we have um, Whitney Young, we have Lincoln Beswick, Visual Arts, <laughs> Kingston Campbell, Visual Arts, <laughs> Maximus Carrillo, Visual Arts, Elliot Cash Dollar, Visual Arts. <laughs> Joseph Darling, Visual Arts. <laughs> Keandra Gunn, Visual Arts. <laughs> Isabella Hall, Visual Arts. <laughs> Caitlin.
Caitlin Hawthorne, Visual Art. June Holden, Visual Arts. <laughs> Bentley Langston, Visual Arts. <laughs> Can I Lynn, Visual Arts? <laughs> Maxwell Murphy, Visual Arts. Connor Putt, Visual Arts. Caden Wallace, Visual, visual, visual Arts. Bryson Watts, Visual Arts. And Adrian Williams, Visual Arts. Teachers, if we if you're here, we have Andrea Jones, Aaron Patton McFarren, and Whitney Young Principal, Melissa Plum. Congratulations. Good job. Good job. Congratulations. Good job. 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 Good job.
Vaguely. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Good to see you. Great. Good to see you. <laughs> Okay. Next we have um, uh, Maria Norman is going to take the uh, middle school PTA Reflection Awards. All right. Um, so for from Jefferson Middle School, we have Annalise Fazzaro, Visual Arts, uh, J.C. Johnson, Visual Arts, okay, and then Giselle Soto, Visual Arts. Okay, and Mr. King's here from Jefferson. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to your students. Congrats. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. King. All right. And then from Kikianga, we have Husin Alshibani in visual arts. <laughs> Avery Gordon, literature. Brandy Martin, Literature. <laughs> Caleb Royal, Visual Arts. <laughs> and then we have teachers, Angela Bouchel, Annie Davis, Candice Denno. Um, and then there wasn't a principal list. Matt Schiebel, and Matt represented Sheevel. by... Bailey. Mark Bailey. Oh, thank Any more pictures? Congratulations. 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 Good job. Congratulations. All right. Next up, we have uh, the awards from Memorial Park. We have Kylie Baca, dance choreography. And Michaela Klima. Photography, Visual Arts. And we have teachers Amy Clark and Nalani Kieslar and Principal Bradley Kosher. Congratulations. And now we have uh, the high school awards. Um, Glenna? At this time, the board would like to recognize the students who are the recipients of awards um, from the Indiana State PTA Reflections Program. And from Northside High School, would John Miley come forward for photography? And Emma, Emma Seawald for photography. We have teacher Shepherd, Sherry Shepherd and principal David West from Northside.
And next, uh, Ann will do our Air Force JROTC award. It is recommended that the board recognize the Wayne High School Air Force Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps unit for being named an outstanding organization for 2018-19 by the Department of Defense Air Force Air University. The Wayne High School Air Force JROTC unit has been given the Outstanding Organization Award. Wayne has earned this award for the second consecutive year. This award recognizes the personal growth and accomplishments of the cadets, contributions of the instructors and mentors, and support of the school and local community. Please come forward as your name is read so we can, may congratulate you. Chief Master Sergeant Jeffrey Wepner, instructor. Major Jeffrey Herman, instructor and John Hauser, principal. <laughs> Next, it's recommended that the board recognize the Fort Wayne Community Schools Career Academy students that placed in the Skills USA competitions April 19th and 20th in Indianapolis. Students who received a first place in Skills USA will be competing at nationals in Louisville, Kentucky, the week of June 24th. 75 students attended the 2019 Indiana State Skills USA Leadership Conference in Indianapolis to compete in various skill competitions within their career and tech field. We had a record number of podium finishers this year with 17 students earning the state title and the opportunity to compete at the National Skills USA competition in Louisville, Kentucky the week of June 24th. Wow. So please come forward as your name is read. And we have Shine Ung, Advertising Design and Pen Design. We have Jacob Berry, Teamworks. Eric Blackwell, Electrical Construction Wiring. Angel Carrillo, Web Design. Hector Garrido, Teamworks. Sierra Graham, Promotional Bulletin Board and T-Shirt Design. Eric Hartman, Plumbing. Noah Huguenard, Masonry. Elijah Lance, Carpentry. Brooklyn Luger, Promotional Bulletin Board. Josh Mayer, Teamworks. Pierce Reichardt, Teamworks. Jordan Reynolds, Web Design. Carlos Rosa, Cabinet Making. Emily Wilson, Promotional Bulletin Board. And so these are your first place students who will be competing in nationals in June. Good luck to you. Thank you. Oh yeah, form a couple rows. 
We have um, the uh, second place uh, finishers, Gazelle Afaro, Promotional Bulletin Board, <laughs> Molly Brock, Pen Design and Promotional Bulletin Board, <laughs> Joshua Flores, T-shirt Design, Brooklyn Luger, Advertising Design. <laughs> Brooklyn have enough time to run around and come in again. Um, Anija McGraw, Web Design. Han Mo, Web Design. Andrew Pruser, cabinet making. <laughs> Ruth Ramirez, childhood education. <laughs> Tyler Rossworm, carpentry. <laughs> and Jashan Wilson, web design. He's in. What do you think? Oh. Okay. How many there were? Ah. Scooch in. Scoot in. Scooch in. A couple rows, maybe. There you go. Good job. And the uh, third place uh, finishers, we have Kuku Ong, T-shirt design. Sierra Graham, advertising design and pin design. Anna Handwerk, childhood education. Logan King, Electrical Construction Wiring. <laughs> Dominic Lee, Restaurant Service. <laughs> William Pancake, Cabinet Making. <laughs> and Jacob Simmerman, Sheet Metal. And if we have any instructors here, those would be Ann Applegate, Frederick Capps, Karen Gilly, Nicholas Mers, Christopher Roberts, Larry Schaefer, 
Kimberly Swain, Catherine Wise, and Anthus Principal Jesse Webb. I have to say, these are kind of my favorite awards. We certainly need more plumbers and electricians and cabinet makers and childhood education and restaurant service, etc. Fabulous programs. Maria? Yep. All right. Um, it's recommended that the board recognize the FWCS Career Academy students who placed in the top 10 in the Health Occupation Students of America competition um, on April 16th through the 18th in Indianapolis. Uh, the Health Occupation Students of America, or HOSA for short, uh, Future Health Professionals is a career and technical education student organization. Students explore healthcare professions, develop leadership qualities, professionalism, gain competence in the patient care setting, earn college credit, and provide community service. At the State Leadership Conference in Indianapolis, 41 FWCS students competed in many events using skills they learned in class or at their clinical sites. Our FWCS HOSA chapter won the most professional HOSA chapter in Indiana. Please come forward as your name is read so we may congratulate you. CAN Top 10, Oprusha Carter. Raisa Aculera. <laughs> Do we want them in groups or all together? All together, okay. Medical terminology, top 10. Haley Aurelio, number three in state. Oh. <laughs> Samra Katik and Janet Flores. <laughs> Human Growth and Development Top 10, Mackenzie Triplett. <laughs> Medical Assisting Top 10 and Hosable Top 10, Alex Amaden, number one in the state for Medical Assisting. Nick Barnett. <laughs> Tim Stein. <laughs> Christian Velez. <laughs> and CPR and first aid, number two in the state. Jocelyn Acapina, sorry, I probably butchered that. <laughs> Samra Kadic, and we have teacher Lisa Schaefer and principal Jesse Webb. In second row. Congratulations, that's impressive. DeAndre, good, good to see you. Come back. <laughs> Have 
By the way, fellow board members, um, the uh, construction trades class builds a school, uh, builds a house every year, and they're having an open house on June 3rd. So if you want to know if you're interested in going, and it's fabulous, the students are there, and it's it's really cool. I'll give you the address. Okay, uh, Glenna. At this time, we would like to recognize the high school dance team association finalists at the Ameridance International Finals. So we are recognizing um, those students at Northrop High School dance teams for placing in the top 10 in the state and Ameridance International competitions. Please come forward if, as your name is read. Um, wait, the Northrop dance team is a member of the Indiana High School Dance Team Association and competes throughout the state of Indiana. In March, they competed at the Meridance International in Orlando, Florida. Students competed individually and as a team in a variety of dance styles, including hip hop and jazz. The varsity jazz group was named National Grand Champions. Wow. So please, awesome. please come forward at this time as we read your name so that we may congratulate you. Kaya Abdullah. Oh no, your dancing's been uh, cut short for a while. <laughs> Emma Black. Taylor Carr. <laughs> Tamia Collins. Tamia. Kiara Daniels. <laughs> Lynn Dintran. <laughs> Mara Fisher. Megan Flesher, Anna Foster, Anthony Lovato, Lynn Luke, Haley Miller, Grace Parkinson, Hannah Razor, <laughs> Amelia Schemos, <coughs> Jaden Walter. Along with them, we have coaches Sammy Gerber, Kyleen James, head coach Lisa Helma. And Principal Jason Wurzengruder. So, Kaya, I have to ask, is that a dance-related injury? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he left it all on the dance floor. Yeah. You should ask them how many injuries they've had. <laughs> Look at that. They even know how to pose. <laughs> They've done this before. Yes, they have. <laughs> Congratulations. It is recommended that the board recognize the Snyder and Southside students who have been selected to participate in the Indiana University Honors Program in Foreign Languages. 
Students who have taken a foreign language for at least three years at their home high school can apply to study abroad for six weeks during the summer in Austria, France, or Spain. Students take classes, live with the host family, and go on weekly <coughs> cultural excursions. Students undergo a rigorous application process that evaluates their language proficiency proficiency as well as their emotional and personal strengths in order to be successful during the program. The rigorous program prepares students who wish to continue their language study beyond high school, receive marks on AP, IB language exams, and to further their language knowledge. Please come forward as your name is read so we may congratulate you. Stuart Finley is going to France. He is from Snyder. Also from Snyder, Sharnice Gage Scroggins, Samuel Hefty, and Sierra Williams. She is going to France as well. Teachers. <laughs> oh, their teachers are Josh Kellenberger, Elizabeth Whitesell, and Principal Chad Hissong. Congratulations. Congratulations. From Southside, we have Huda Dine going to France. Or Dean, if she is French. And Danielle Giels, she is going to Spain. And Sophia Horn is going to France. Their teachers are Taylor Buzzard and Principal Adam Swinford. Congratulations. Have a great experience. Next, it is recommended that the board recognize Snyder High School journalism students who placed in the Women's Press Club of Indiana contest. The National Federation of Press Women and its state affiliate, the Women's Press Club of Indiana, sponsor an annual contest for high school journalists in Indiana. Students who receive a first place award are forwarded to the national uh, competition. So please come forward. Uh, we have Grace McCormick, First and second place in opinion. We have William O'Brien, second place in columns. We have Harrison Snyder, first and second place in opinion and second place in columns. And we have Ashley Whitty, third place in editorial. We have teacher Pamela O'Reilly and principal Chad Hissong. <laughs> so has national competition already occurred or? Yeah, okay. We just, we just announced that one of our young men went on to mention of the national contest. Oh, awesome. What, Harrison? Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> well, we won't say anything. <laughs> and somebody should, yeah. Looks like you're coming up, coming down again. Maria? 
It is recommended that the board recognize the Snyder High School journalism students who were recognized as members of the National Scholastic Press Association Honor Roll. The NSPA Honor Roll of Student Journalists honors students who have worked on an NSPA member publication for two or more years and have maintained a grade point average of at least a 3.5 on a four point scale. Uh, we have Zoe Freiberger. Grace McCormick. And Kendra McDaniel. And we, we have teacher Pamela O'Reilly and principal Chad Hissong. wrap it up. Okay, the last category that we are recognizing tonight is the Snyder High School journalism students who have won awards at the Ball State University Journalism Day Contest. Ball State University's annual Journalism Day draws high school journalists and their advisors to campus for a day of informative sessions and journalism related activities. The J Day Contest is a means for high schools to get valuable feedback on their publications, as well as recognition for the most outstanding entries. Students from several states compete in this contest, which recognizes excellence in high school journalism. Please come forward as your name is read, and we will congratulate you. Jennifer Cruz was uh, recognized for superior personality feature. Danielle Fulkerson for excellent personality feature and superior personality feature. <laughs> William O'Brien was uh, recognized for excellent opinion story and superior opinion story. <laughs> and then Harrison Snyder was recognized for excellent opinion story and superior opinion story. We have teacher Pamela O'Reilly and principal Chad Hitsong. Congratulations, uh, Pamela. It appears as though Snyder has a terrific uh, journalism program, so congratulations. I'm sure your leadership is a great, is a big part of it. That's awesome. Congratulations. So that brings us basically to the close of our meeting. We have uh, nothing else. Uh, we have no old or new business. We have no reports. Um, any member comments? Oh, no, but it, this is one of our favorite meetings because it is so uh, exciting to see all the different uh, areas that the, the students in our district are succeeding in. I know we mentioned it at the beginning, but it does take a village to get all these students here. So just want to thank everybody who worked behind the scenes to make sure everyone was in line <laughs> in the proper order and all the picture takers and congratulations to all the families um, of the students and congratulations again to all the students. You're right. That's quite an organizational <laughs> feat. I mean, when I came in back there, they were wound all through that back hallway and who knows where they were. I'll just say ditto. Yep. Yep. And congratulations to um, uh, all of our um, teachers um, and school leaders who uh, 
make all these programs possible um, for our students. The, the variety of um, programs that uh, you know are offered in our schools and the opportunities that students get is uh, really outstanding, I think. And um, a big part of um, what makes our district successful. So, um, do we have a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. Second. Okay. And before we vote, uh, we do have a meeting next Monday, uh, May 20th. I'm sure there will be some additional um, awards and recognitions then. Okay. All those in favor of adjourning, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, that's a wrap. What's that? Anyone at the uh, want to?